Welcome to our Canvas Quick Start course. In this quick introduction video, we will talk about some of the items and concepts that you'll be learning in Module 1, which will serve as your introduction to Canvas courses. First of all, if you are new to Canvas and you've never used this program before, you might be wondering just what is Canvas and what is the purpose of Canvas? So Canvas is what we refer to as a learning management system, very similar to Blackboard, if you've ever used that in college classes, or Moodle, or even Google Classroom. Canvas is kind of a, like a more full-featured Google Classroom. So Canvas is an LMS that allows you to digitally manage your learning. Um, educators can present your material online so that students will have a place or a hub to go receive their learning materials. Students can also complete assignments, see due dates, submit work digitally. Teachers are able to access that work, grade it, assess their learning, and provide feedback all in one web-based platform. First of all, I will take you on a very quick tour of Canvas. Now, as you progress through this module, you will have several mini video lessons. Now, this is the only video of the module that has narration. The rest of the videos are very visual to show you exactly where to go and where to click and to take you on a tour through Canvas. The first thing you'll notice is that when you come to Canvas, you land on what is called the dashboard. Your Canvas dashboard is just a place where you can find your favorite classes. So you might see your A1 Algebra 2 class and your B1 Computer Programming class and your A3 geometry class all listed there for you in what's called course cards and then on the right you'll see your to-do list now as a teacher your to-do list is items that you need to grade that have been submitted the students over on that right hand sidebar would see um, items they need to submit or upcoming impending due dates later in the module you will see videos that will show you how to customize this dashboard. You can customize the look, um, what courses show up here, the colors of those courses, all sorts of customization options that you will learn throughout the course of this module. Always on your left hand side, no matter where you are in Canvas, you will have this blue sidebar, which gives you several options. First of all, you will have a button to return to the dashboard that we just saw. So you might be in your geometry class. If you click that dashboard button, it will take you back home to see all of your classes. This might sound redundant to have another button called courses. Your dashboard does allow you to see courses, but the dashboard only shows you the courses that you have marked as your favorites. Um, whereas this courses button will allow you to see every course that you've ever had in Canvas, courses that are concluded, maybe from last year, or courses that are just not your favorites that you don't need all that often. You might even see courses that are coming up that you haven't started to use yet, and those you can access with that courses button. There is a calendar feature, which is really very useful for students. Teachers on that calendar will see impending due dates as well, but of course, students will be able to see what assignments are coming for them. Um, they have one calendar to look at all their assignments from their different classes and they can filter things by class as well. Also there is an inbox feature. So Canvas has a part that works very much like your email inbox. Within Canvas you can send an inbox message to a student or to an entire class, whatever works best for you, and you can message within Canvas in that way. Again, as you progress through this module, you will have some short videos that take you on a very visual tour to show you exactly what these items look like. It is also very important to understand that are, there are two different types of courses that you might deal with within Canvas. There are sandbox courses, and there are also courses that are created by Infinite Canvas. A sandbox course um, and that's a strange name, but it's basically called a sandbox course because it's where you can play over the summer. So a sandbox course is a course that you would create as a teacher, and it is a safe place for you to build and create and plan some lessons before your students show up. A sandbox course allows you, again, to, to start doing that work before your real class starts or begins. And it's a place where only you as the teacher would kind of have access to. No students will be in there and see you learning and building. And then at the end of the summer, 
your real courses will start to show up and you can take all the work you did here in this sandbox course and import it into the real courses where your students will come and learn. So again, sandbox courses are just places where you will play and um, work over the summer and do some prep work without students. Later in this module, you will have some videos that will show you how to create a sandbox course. And your first piece of homework is to actually do that, create a sandbox course to work within. It's important to understand the difference between those types of courses and courses that are created by Infinite Campus. So Infinite Campus actually speaks to Canvas and will set up courses for you. Those courses come complete with students and it's wonderful. You don't have to manage your rosters. Um, the only problem is those courses don't exist until late July. So if you are trying to get a head start and do some summer work, your real courses might not exist yet and that's why you would need a sandbox course to get started in. The courses that will be created from Infinite Campus, first of all, already have the rosters taken care of and those rosters will sync every night throughout the year. So as students drop or add your course, you don't have to manage that list of students. They will automatically show up in your campus course or disappear from your campus course. As an option, you can turn on a setting that will sync your grades from Canvas to Infinite Campus. So those grades would again communicate every night automatically if you choose to do so. And I want you to think of these Infinite Campus courses as your real courses. These are the places where you will do your work with your students throughout the course of the year, not just in the summer. And it's important to know that if you did build some things in those sandbox courses in the summer, you can import your content into these real courses so that you haven't lost anything. When these courses show up, you might not see them unless you click on the courses menu over there on the left and go into all courses. In late July, when you do this, you'll start to see if you scroll down to your non-published courses, you'll see some strange names, some courses that have a strange code and then a numerical code and then an indicator of what semester or quarter they belong to. And when you see courses with that strange type of name, you'll know that was the course that Infinite Campus has created for you. And that is the course where your students will come and do their work. And you can add that to your dashboard. Again, um, later in the module, you'll have some videos that show you how to take those courses, add them to your dashboard and do the work within those. So here's just a quick recap of those differences. Uh, very important to understand that your sandbox course is a place where only the teacher lives, only the teacher can work with, and it's only for some summer work. And then you will move everything into your real courses once they exist and are created by Infinite Campus. So this is just a quick introduction of the topics that you will learn throughout the course of this module. You'll have small videos that will take you on very visual tours to show you how to do things like navigate Canvas. You'll see all the tools uh, and go on a tour of all of those and the menus and the dashboards. You will also have a video that will show you exactly how to customize your dashboard. There will be a small video that will show you the true difference between those sandbox and infinite campus created courses. You will have a video that shows you how to create your summer sandbox course, and that will be your first piece of homework. And those are the things you'll be looking for as you move on throughout this module. I hope you enjoy those lessons, and I look forward to seeing your work.